verse 26. Bring it up. Bring so it up. we are here today at the International Leadership Summit, right? But when I looked around, all I saw was women as leaders. Work. That's not how the most high are day or in the community, right? Work. Work. what you got. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Bring it up. Our priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. So the Bible says that your priests have done what? Violated my law. How is it that the priests have violated God's laws when they're supposed to be the ones that keep God's law? Right. Why? Right? You're supposed to go to your priest or your pastor to learn God's law. Right. But did you learn anything today? What did you learn today? To be led by women. Why? Right. That's all I saw. Women leading men. Read that again. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. What are some of the holy things that have been profaned? One of those things is today. Today is the Lord's Sabbath. Right. Everyone that came out of that summit is going to be buying and selling and breaking God's law. That's right. What have you learned since you've been here? Nothing. Read up. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. What is holy and what's profane? As any of these Christians, they have no idea. Right. No idea. Half of them got pork on their breath right now. Right. Do you understand that you're going to die if the most high returns right. and you got a pork sandwich in your hand? Right. Yeah, those are God's laws. Right. What have you learned? Nothing. Read on. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean Come on. and have hid their eyes from my Sabbaths. So the Bible says that the, all of our eyes have been hid from the Sabbath. Today being one of those Sabbaths. Yes, Father, being one of those Sabbaths. Yes, Today Lord. is the Feast of Eleven. What are you keeping? You don't know anything. You haven't learned anything about the Most High God. Yes, but Lord. still, you turn a blind eye to the truth when it's right in front of you. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Right? You got to deal with this. Every last one of you have been marked by the Most High God. Right. 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 You turned your back. You know what I want? Bring that out. Bring. You, Bring you it have up. to learn righteousness today. Bring it out. Uh, get that, uh, uh, g give me righteousness. Right? Bring it out. Bring it out. Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. Bring it out. And it shall be our righteousness. So the Bible says it shall be our righteousness that we observe to do all these commandments. So it says you have to observe. That means there's going to be certain days, certain things, certain rituals that are going to be kept on these days, right? Read. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God as he has commanded us. So all I heard today was grace, grace, grace. Bring it out. But guess what? Even your light bill period, uh, your light bill gives you a grace period. That's right. right. They're going to expect payment. If you don't have that payment, guess what? Your lights are going to get turned right. off. Right. right. That's what the black Messiah is going to do when he returns. Bring That's right. right. All of those priests and pastors that have not taught God's laws, they're going to be in, in for a rude awakening. They're going to get that judgment. Go back to Ezekiel 22. Bring it out. Teach them up. Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Bring it out. Our priests have violated my law. So each one of you think you've been learning or you've been keeping God's laws and you have not, right? Give me that in Malachi 2 just, verse 7. Just, 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 These just, are the things that just. you should be learning from your priest, but guess what? You have not. And it's evident when you look into our communities, just, just, when you look at our women, when you look at our men, there's evident that we have not been taught God's righteousness or God's law. That's right. Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring it out. The priest lips should keep knowledge. So the Bible says, at this International Leadership Summit, you should have learned the knowledge of God. Right. But you did not read. And they should seek the law at his mouth. Did it say that they should seek grace at the pastor's mouth? What did it say? Read it again. For And they shall seek the law at his mouth. So, what are those laws that we should be keeping? What are those laws that we should be keeping? Right? Would you, would you read that again? Malachi chapter 2 and verse 7. Bring it out. The priest's lips should keep knowledge and they should seek the law at his mouth. All right, go back to Ezekiel chapter 22. Come on. Bring it out. So, who are we? What are we teaching? 
that you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American, you are the children of Israel. That's right. You have been lied to by, right. your, by your school systems. Right. They taught you everything wrong. Even your pastors. Read Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 26. Read it out. The priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. The Bible says we have profaned his holy things. Right? The Sabbath. We profane that. How do we profane the Sabbath? There's laws, there's statutes that we should be keeping on the Lord's Sabbath. Like no buying, no selling. Right. But you look around, those are the things that's going on today. Right. Nobody is observing God's laws. That's right. right. Ezekiel chapter 22, verse 26. Read it out. The priests have violated my laws and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the clean and the unclean. So what is it that's clean and unclean, right? Give me that in Leviticus chapter 11. Bring it out. Watch this. We're, gonna, we're just going to get some simple mathematics from the Bible. Boy. Right? It's right here. Yeah. Teach them up. Go ahead. Leviticus chapter 11 and verse 7. Bring it out. Verse 48. Yes, sir. Verse 46. This is the law of the beast and of the fowl and of every living creature that moveth in the waters and every creature that creepeth upon the earth to make a difference. To make a what? To make a difference between the unclean and the clean. So let's find out what the difference is between the clean and the unclean. Because guess what? You can't eat all meat. If I came to you and I gave you a plate of meat and told you to eat it, your first question is gonna be, what is it? Right. Right? So let's find out what it is. Yeah. Leviticus chapter 11 verse 7, yeah. verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses and to Aaron, saying unto them, Speak unto the children of Israel. So you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American. Moses and Aaron, this, this is who they were talking to. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, These are the beasts which shall be eaten among all the beasts that are on the earth. So the, the Bible puts a difference. These are the beasts that can be eaten. Read. Whatsoever part of the hoof and is clover-footed and cheweth the cud among the beasts, that shall ye eat. Right, jump down to verse 7. This is one of the major problems in our community. Right here, watch this. Verse 7. And the swine, though he divide the hoof, and be cloven footed, yet he cheweth not the cud. He is unclean to you. Says the swine is unclean. So the sister had a question. She said, what is the Sabbath? Right? What there is the Sabbath? Yeah, watch this. We're going to get it for you. So, and we give you understanding because you've been listening for a while. And we appreciate that, all right? Watch this. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Yeah. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. So it says remember the Sabbath, right? Yeah. So today is the Sabbath. Now you, you got a, um, a calendar on your phone, yeah. right? What, what's the first day of the week? Yeah. Sunday is the first day of the week, right? So if you count six more days from Sunday, what, what day is that? Saturday. Saturday. All right, watch this. Verse 9. Six days shall thou labor and do all thy work. So you have six days out of the week to work and do whatever you want to do, as long as it's lawful. Right? But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it shall thou do not work. Do no work. Thou, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant or maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. Right, so that's one of the Lord's Sabbath. That's the high Sabbath. Every week is the Lord's Sabbath. And you commanded not to do certain things, but you also commanded to congregate. Right? Yep. Verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, and the sea and all that is therein, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. Right. So, all right, so that's one Sabbath. Now give me Leviticus chapter 23. So we're going to give you the rest of the Lord's Sabbath. Right? Just So whenever you're home, you may have some time to read them for your own. And just don't take man's word for it. You have two eyes, two ears, and a brain. Use it. Right? Read it. Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 1. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, and say unto them, Concerning the feast of the Lord, which he shall proclaim to be holy convocation. So these are the, the feasts that are holy convocations, meaning that you come together with your, your like-minded brethren that's keeping God's laws, not keeping grace. We're keeping God's laws. Right. Even these are my feasts. Verse 3, 
six days shall work be done, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of rest. So we just read about the Sabbath, which is today, read. And holy convocation. He shall do no work therein. It is the Sabbath of the Lord in all your dwelling. So if the Lord say don't do no work, what you supposed to do? No work, right? right. Okay. Verse 4, these are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations. So there's more. These are more feasts of the Lord in the holy convocations. Watch this. Which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. You're going to proclaim these in their seasons. Verse 5, in the 14th day of the first month. In the 14th day of the first month, with this, which is, uh, this is the first month of the year. Contrary to what we've been taught, this is the first month of the year. Read right? In the 14th day of the first month, at even, is the Lord's Passover. It's the Lord's Passover. That's what we all gathered here today. We're going to keep the Lord's Passover. Actually, it started last night. We're going to read and find out what day we're in now, right? Because we asked these Christians coming out of the center, what is today? And no one knew. Right. the Passover started on the 10th. Read it again. Verse 4. These, these are the feasts of the Lord, even holy convocations, which ye shall proclaim in their seasons. In the fourteenth day of the first month, at even, is the Lord's Passover. Right? So the fourteenth day of the first month. Right? And we know that by the month of Abib. Right? Get, yeah, get that real quick. Bring Abib, it up. Uh, the word Abib means ear of corn. Right? And this is around that time where things start to come back to life. Look at the trees. Do they look dead? They're alive. Everything just springs back, right? right, right this is right. the beginning of a new year. Right, right. That's right. Deuteronomy 16 and verse 1. You know? Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover. Read, read it again. Observe the month of Abib and keep the Passover. So it says observe the month of the of Abib. So we also know that by the moon, the word month comes from moon. It's moon, month, right? So this is the first moon of the year. 14 days or the new moon. 14 days after that is the Lord's uh, Passover. Read. Ecclesiasticus chapter 43 and verse six. Read he up. the moon also to serve in her seasons for a declaration of times. Right, so that's this is how we know, or this is how we calculate our feast days of the Lord, right? And is a sign of the world. From the moon is the sign of feasts, a light that decreases in her perfection. Right, so the moon is a sign for us. That's how we tell the times. Not like, uh, not like has been prescribed by us by the Gregorian calendar, right? We determine the feast days by the moon that the Lord gave us. All right, you got any more questions, sis? Oh, praise uh, what, do you yeah, what do you guys think about baptism? Baptism. Bring it up. Okay, we, we're going to get it for you. Watch this. What, what about baptism? Baptism was a similitude. Right. right? It was a similitude. So if you baptize yourself every day, hopefully, when you, when you take a bath, right? The water, what, what can the water do for you? But watch this. 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 21. The like figure, where unto even baptism, doth also now save us. So baptism was a like figure. It wasn't the exact thing. Not the putting away of the filth of the flesh. So how do you put away the filth of your flesh? By taking the bath. That, that was a like figure. Taking the bath or dipping yourself in water was a like figure of what you wanted to do to your mind. You can't wash your mind with water. Read. But the answer of a good conscience towards God by the resurrection of Jesus Christ. So we, we believe that the cleansing goes into, it's in your mind and not with water. Right. You have to have an answer of a good conscience toward the Lord. Meaning like today, uh, for example, Deuteronomy 22 and 5, we're going to wrap it up. Let me give you something to dwell on in your mind. You want to know whether you agree with it or not, but that's your battle, not mine. Watch this. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Read up. A woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So this is a commandment of the Lord. It says the woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. So if all of these men out here were in dresses and boots and, and knee highs, would you take us seriously? Bring it out. Not at all. So is there anything wrong with what you're wearing according to the Bible? Read it. You didn't, huh? Okay, let's read it again. Watch this. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So what is it that pertaineth to a man that women wear today? That they didn't wear in the cotton fields. Pants. Pants. The most I said 
That's an abomination. That's work. All right? All praises. All right, so we're going to wrap it up. We got, yeah, Matthew 26. She said they want to us. Get it, get it, get it. Watch this. Watch this. Bring it out. Exodus chapter 28 and verse 41. Bring it out. Real quick, sis. We need you to listen real quick. You finished talking? Are you finished talking? Okay, listen to this right quick. Exodus chapter 28, verse 41. And now shall put them upon Aaron. So they're gonna put them on Aaron. Just wait, just wait. Stop talking. Listen. And thou shalt put them upon Aaron, thy brother, and his sons with him, and shalt anoint them and consecrate them and sanctify them, that they may minister unto me in the priest's office. Come on. And thou shalt make them linen preachers. Make them what? Linen what? Look up, look up, look up the word breaches on your phone. Bring it up. Look up breaches on your phone. And now, the, now you understand breaches. What are breaches? What are breaches? What are breaches? Pants. Thank you. Thank you. You're done. That's what? Bible says breaches were for me, right? That's right. Now I make them linen breaches. Linen breaches to cover their nakedness. To cover their nakedness. Thank you, sis. You have been found as the weakest link. Goodbye. That's what? Even until the thigh they shall reach. All right, Matthew 26. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 6. And now when Jesus was in Bethany, in the house of Simon the leopard, there came unto him a woman having an alabaster box, a very precious ointment, and poured it on his head as he sat at meat. But when his disciples saw it, they had indignation, saying, To what purpose is his waste? For this ointment might have been sold for much and given to the poor. When Jesus understood it, he said unto them, Why trouble ye the woman? For she had wrought a good work upon me. For ye have the poor always with you, but me ye have not always. For in that she had poured this ointment on my body, she did it for my burial. Verily I say unto you, wheresoever this gospel shall be preached in the whole world, there shall also this, that this woman be, had done, that this what? That this woman had done, be told for a memorial of her. And she had on a dress. That's right. That's right. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.